Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel, Pokemon Pearl Randomized Nuzlocke. It's your boy Beagers, and we are back for the very next episode of the series. In the last episode, I don't remember anything that we did. <laughs> um, I know we got here to the city, and we faced off a rival battle, and we're actually going to face off another gym badge today, and we're going through this region so quick it's not even funny but if you're excited for this series make sure you hit that like button for me because it is greatly 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 appreciated and if you are not already part of the beakers family make sure you hit that subscribe button and i would like to welcome y'all to the family as well because it's your boy beakers i'm crazy i'm weird i'm unorthodox but we have a whole bunch of fun and i just have a bunch of the verses in my head and that's how we do things here <laughs> But, let me get you a quick family recap. I don't have everyone in here just yet. Because, actually, I'm not going to do a recap yet. I'm not going to do a recap yet. Because we do have an egg. I always do this. Egg in the party over there somewhere. <laughs> that we are actually going to go ahead and hatch. And it should just take a second. But, we do have an egg hatching. So... What's this beauty gonna be? And I know you guys are already asking yourself, where the heck did this egg come from? A smoochum. I guess that's not terrible. Jinx isn't bad. Um, but you're probably asking yourself, where did this egg come from? I went through Iron Island since we did get our encounter. That's actually where I did most of my grinding. And at the very end, we actually get an egg, if you don't know. Spoilers! Spoilers! We team up with another guy who really doesn't have a name and normally has a Lucario. But this time he had a different Mon, of course, and gave us an egg, which normally is a Rylu. So I guess that's why it's a baby Pokemon as well. I don't know. But I do have a name for the Smoochum, and it's actually a friend of mine who is a little insane in the memory. Um, and I'm going to name it after her. And that is Nikki. You guys are probably also thinking, Wow, that's Nikki Minaj. Well, we got some crazy friends. But I'm going to go ahead and return Nikki over to the extended family so we can actually get our full family. But I do want to check out Nikki real quick. Ice and Psychic is really not a bad typing with Pound. I mean, it is level 1, so it's not like, meh. I don't know if I'm going to use that, though, but it is is—it is a really good typing, though. It is a really good typing. And I know the team recap is not going to be very, very much surprised now that I'm showing you everything after doing the egg, but we're going to do the hype for the team anyways. Because, first off, we got Mama, the Kangas Kong, not holding anything at the moment, with Outrage, Fake Out, Strength, and Crunch. Mama learned Outrage. I had no idea Kangas Kong learned Outrage. I'm so excited! <laughs> that's another move that's absolutely... Just... Hi. I'm Biggers. I don't know what to say right now. Oh my gosh! It's just another really, really strong move to have on Mama, and it's it's just, just it makes it, it makes me all tingly inside. Um, but next off we have not the little engine that could anymore. Tusk the Dawn fan holding the shell bell. I finally put some items on these guys, which during my grinding actually came in help. It came in handy because we were gonna lose a few of our mons because I wasn't paying attention. With takedown, rock smash, rollout, and assurance. I'm weird. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago, but we're doing this anyways. Then we have the starter himself, Huracuaza, the Shenron, with the airlock ability not holding anything, with Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, Ancient Power, and Fly. Then we got my MVP, who's not a Bayleaf anymore, but we have Armaganium holding that Miracle Seed, Cajun Armaganium, with Razor Leaf, Poison Powder, Petal Dance, and Heat 
Wave. I decided to put Heat Wave on Meganium here because it's a fire type move that we are going to need because no one can really handle uh, grass types unless I use Shenron. And even with Shenron, it's a two turned move with Fly. If we had like Wing Attack or Air Slash or something like that, it would be a little easier, but we don't. Oh well. Alright, so who is next on the family? We got Trippy. He finally evolved into the powerful Swamper that he is. Holding that Shell Bell as well, because we actually had a few of them. I didn't realize that. But Surf, Muddy Water, Takedown, and Mud Bomb. I'm rearranging those moves to make my OCD happy. And then we have... I gotta give him his own... Introduction! Because he had two evolutions in the grinding. We had Danny! The Dusk Nor. Now, he actually evolved into a Dusk Clops, if I'm saying that correctly, at level 37. And then, actually, during my grinding, I realized hey, I gotta put the Reaper Cloth on you, otherwise, you're not gonna evolve. So, I had to redo it like three or four times because I completely forgot. But that's me. So, we now have Danny the Dusk Nor, who did evolve twice. And then we have, look at those stats, look at those stats, he's the tanky mon on the team, oh my gosh! With Curse, Shadow Force, Will-O-Wisp, and Shadow Punch, bah! Alright, so that is our family now, that is our oh, beautiful, beautiful, leveled up family. Alright, so now we are actually going to go into this gym, which I don't exactly know what it is. Uh... Byron, I'm guessing this is, oh, it was going to tell me, haha, <laughs> the man with the steel body, so it's the steel type gym, so I know for a fact, if you don't know about Papa Agron, he's a steel guy, he's, he's that tough guy, and I'm, I'm almost positive this is his favorite gym, so we have to go through here, and I have no idea what this gym has in store for us, or even how it works, so, First off, oh, we got another baby Pokemon. We got Iglybuff. Hi, Iglybuff. <laughs> we just got rid of that Iglybuff with a fake out. Just absolutely went. Bye bye. I saw my All right, let's see exactly. Okay, that did absolutely nothing for us. Absolutely nothing. We just went up and then we went down into the same spot. All right, let's just face off these trainers because we got a multitude of them in here and I just want to make sure that I am well leveled up for this gym leader because last few gym leaders actually just, just, we were under leveled. We were under leveled by probably, I'm going to say, was it like four levels or something like that? So I'm hoping I leveled up enough this time, but if we didn't, then it's okay. Alright, you had nothing for me, really. Oh, I thought we couldn't get away from here. Haha! <laughs> I'm... If you guys haven't watched me enough or this channel enough, when I wake up in the morning and I do a video, I'm more... Uh, what, what's, what's the phrase? What's the phrase? Diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> Anything that pops into my head, I say. There's just... Anything that comes into my mind just comes out of my comes out of my mouth. Like, did you know that customers can actually be very rude? Spoiler! Which you probably didn't know that, but I'm a server, so it's just like eh. I can't to be nice every once in a while. I know, right? I know. Welcome to the Beagers channel. <laughs> I am all over the place today. All over the place. Okay, we got rid of this crocodile, and the maintenance guy just wins. All right, I'm trying to he I'm trying to be here to fix your plumbing, but I guess you don't want it. Oh well. All right, we got another trainer that we need to battle. Hiya! Like I said, I'm being weird today, and I'm I, I don't know if you guys like it. I don't know if you don't. Leave it in the comment section down below if you actually like me being very talkative and very. M more weird than normal, and I don't know what's coming in. I'm just gonna use Tusk. Go ahead, Tusk. You got this. Oh, that's a Rotom. That's not what I needed to use in the slightest. Uh, you have Levitate. I'm gonna bring in Shenron. Because I can't, because Shenron got the power. Because he got the Dragon Balls in his body. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I, in the slightest. 
Uh, actually, I really like this gym, though, by the way. It, the details that they put into this gym is actually really cool. Alright, we got another trainer, and this one is normally an ace trainer, so you might have something strong. A tentacruel at level 33. Nope, I'm not worried about you. I'm just gonna have Mama do most of this, because the fake-out strength is just two shots everything. Essentially one shots, because we get the flinch off, and I'm not too worried about not being able to flinch anybody. Wow! I was just kind of going through this gym hoping to be able to do it right, and apparently I did exactly that! Cool! Alright, so I'm gonna make sure I save my game real quick before we face this guy in purple hair! And I need to figure out a... Hmm, a voice for him. I don't know. I don't know what voice I want to do. I don't know! Um... Hmm, what kind of voice do I want to do for him? Honestly, this is what takes the longest in a video, to be honest. <laughs> is trying to figure out the voice that I want to do for these guys, and it's just like, okay. Uh... Ooh, I got a voice, I got a voice, and this voice I haven't done yet. So I hope you guys recognize it, and I hope I do it. I hope I do it justice. Okay, okay. We're gonna find out right here. Not the buttons! Not the gumdrop buttons! Oh! That's Hinberg's gym badge! I see, I see! You've defeated my son! But, but, that's no surprise! He still has much to learn! In place of my son, Rick, I, Byron, will take your challenge! You know, that just sounded more of a girl's like voice, not really gingy. I just said it. Wow. Alright, Beagers. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler of the voice, but oh well. Oh well. It sounded more like a girl's voice than anything, but it's okay. Alright. No speed up button, and Floatzel comes out at level 36. Okay, we're gonna fake out you. Oh, you got the Aqua Jet. Okay, that means you're gonna hit me first, and that only does a little bit of damage. This should do some decent damage. It's stab as well as going priority. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave Mama in here and let Mama do most of the work with this Floatzel. Because we should be able to do quite a bit to you. Floatzel is fast though, like really fast, even without Aqua Jet. Did you know that Floatzel is actually one of the fastest water type mons that you can catch? Now you know, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I just got stuff spewing out of my mouth at this point. And that was a Baneri? Is that what I saw? Or Burmy? I don't know. I'm all over the place. I'm gonna bring in Shenron though. That big green button! That big green button is amazing! I need to start moving around a little bit and not just staying still. It was a Baneri. Cool. Okay. Did you know that... <laughs> That Lopany is actually a Mega. You probably did. The guys, it, it, you guys are watching this going, what is he doing? It's like he's doing Pokemon for dummies. Because I'm a, I'm a weirdo. Um, I don't know what it is. Eradicate. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring in Danny. No, no, because Radicate can actually learn Dark type moves. So I'm gonna bring in Tusk. I didn't want to bring in Tusk because we've already seen everyone so far, besides for like Asian and Dusk Nor and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, so we have a Radicate on our screen and it's level 36. So I definitely did level up correctly, but however, I leveled up way too much. And that's a Super Fang, which brings me down to half, so I'm not too worried about that anymore. And then Rock Smash does... For being a 20 based power move Rock Smash, it does so much damage. And I should be safe if he uses anything like Hyper Fang and stuff. See, I knew you had Crunch. You either have Crunch or Bite, or you might actually have both. Wow, I really am Diarrhea of the Mouth today. Alright, we're gonna rock smash this Radicate and get rid of this Radicate! Radicate, 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 Pat-a-cake, Pat-a-cake. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Alright, Toss grew a little bit more experience and gained some health with its shield bell. Ding dong! And we actually beat the gym leader. Not the buns! Not the gym job buns! You were strong enough to take down my first team of Pokemon in recognition of their power. I give you this mind badge. We got the mind badge, guys! Talk about a gym badge on the layout, which is over here. I need to figure out because my camera's flipped. And when I do this, I'm pointing towards the right thing. But when I do this, I'm pointing towards the team. But it is what it is. I'll figure it out eventually. Alright, so we can now use the hidden move strength, which is good because now we can actually get through some places. Kind of like Mount Coronet. That contains flare! That's actually really, really, really good. I like that a lot, actually. Now, the question is, can anybody learn Glare? No one. No one can learn Glare. Awesome! Whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. Alright, we're gonna go through the rest of this gym, and hopefully this brings us back to the beginning. Hey, it does indeed. It does indeedy. Alright, I want to talk to you again. Ho! Beers, you beat the gym leader. Good going. That makes it six gym badges. I tell you what, you really turn it into one fine trainer. If you were to say you're going to try to become the Pokemon champ, no one laugh at you now. I'm in your corner, kiddo. Hey, we got a fan. We got a fan. We got a fan. We got a fan. Alright. Whoa, what I just hit? I hit a weird button, but it's okay. Okay, troll! What's going on? What's going on, troll? What's going on? <laughs> hey, that's the mind badge! Get going! You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not going to actually happen. That's crap! That's crap! Because we beat you every time, and troll got nothing on me. I hope you're watching, troll. I hope you're watching. Every time I do this, I hope you're watching because you know I'm going to beat you. I'm calling you out, troll. I am calling you out. So, if anybody else is watching this and you want to try to go get Symbionic Troll to come call me out, I'm cool with that. But we'll find out. Anyways, Beagles, come with me to the library. Why to the library? I don't want to learn. I need to go heal all my family first. Okay, let's go heal first. Because I don't care about troll. Alright, Nurse Joy, heal up my Pokemon and get rid of all their bruises, please. Thank you. Alright, I guess now we'll head over to the library. Alright, let's head over to the library and see exactly what's going on. Uh, no. No, I don't see you, troll. Where'd you go? Did you go upstairs? Uh, I don't see you again. Troll, where'd you go? How'd you get up so fast? Did I see that right? Hey, Beagles, over here, this way. It's Dawn and the Professor. Wow. Why'd the screen move over? <laughs> Well, what are we supposed to be looking at over here? Why is it in the center? Oh, my OCD just went through the roof. Uh, okay, Grimps, I brought beagles like I said. Alright, I'll be out of here. No! No, you brought me into this mess. You're gonna stay here. Get back in that seat. Okay, I got it. Like I said, you better stay in that seat. Everyone's finally here. Biggers, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. I guess we are going to have a school session, so everybody sit down. It's time to study. Oh my goodness. You're going to walk around too. This is going to be some long dialogue. <laughs> But, the more I study, the more mysterious mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve, and those that don't, what makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature 
as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? Hmm. This is where you three come in. In the Three Lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get no Pokedex. And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give you one? But that's water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you in becoming a better trainer too. Oh my gosh! You can't you can count on me! It will help my Pokedex too. Figures, you'll go too, oh won't you? Sure, I guess. Huh. I would I would have made all of you go regardless. Anyways, now there are three lakes. There are, uh, for, uh, 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 there are three of you. <laughs> you should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. That means we're getting into the story mode. Bum bum bum. It's uh still rowing. Don, you go to Lake Burnty. If I'm saying these right, I don't know. Oh my gosh, we'll do, Professor Rowan. Drew, I want you to investigate Lake Ikerti. I speak in English. That would take you almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Whoa, 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 Rowan. What about me? Well, I've been beating Troll up and down this entire game the entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, Glimpse. You know how to call it. You can't tell I'm not... You can tell I'm not hot in this. What is with this dialogue? And that leaves Biggers with Lake Valley. That I can say. <laughs> the lake between... Bellstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. What just happened? Biggers. Hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. I guess it was an earthquake. Uh, but I'm thinking about it. What? What? Does that just mean it was just Team Galactic? Because Granon's not in this game, and there's no legendary Mon that does an earthquake. Here! That tremor! That wasn't a natural occurrence! Uh, it's Sailor Guy, it's Sailor Guy, it's Sailor Guy, uh... <laughs> Yo! Hey, hey! Old dudes and kids! Something big has just happened, like, what's up? They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor! Kaboom! I'm not loud enough, I'm not loud enough. Give me a second. <clears throat> Kaboom! Sorry about your headsets, or if you're trying to listen to this video, I had to make sure I was loud for that, because the text was loud. <laughs> like that! Oh, he was just trying to say it. Whoopsie! <laughs> Gramps! I'm going to the lake! I have a bad feeling about this! But you weren't supposed to go to that lake! That lake was mine! Too late. Too late. You're already gone. Just like always. <sighs> That troll can't stay still. I'm worried about Lake Fowler, Beegers. But I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. Too late, Gramps. 
We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Ferenti. <laughs> if something just exploded, and you're not gonna go with me, why go elsewhere? Oh my gosh, Biggers! You'll be okay, won't you? Please be okay. Um... Okay then, well I guess we are heading over to Lake Fowler now. Um, and I should know exactly where that is located. Um, and I think we can do two things now, or we might actually have to wait till we finish the lake first. So, since we do have fly, we're gonna do exactly that, and we're gonna fly all the way back over to Valstone City. And we should be able to... I'm gonna head this way now, and... See if we can actually get into the Team Rocket, uh, the Team Rocket, Team Galactic, uh, base here, cause, uh, no, we already talked to you, and you weren't letting us go in, and we won't be able to go in the other way either, so, that's not a place we go to yet. So, I guess that does mean we're heading to the lake now, which I'm perfectly fine with. I just wasn't expecting a whole bunch of story to pop up now because we're I, I hate saying this but we're getting to our time we're getting real close to our time so I don't know if we're gonna hit up this lake we might actually start it I don't know I don't know we're gonna find out here pretty soon so let's head to the lake first first things first and see exactly what is going on over here in the lake there was spirit tomb in this grass Oh my goodness, that would have been amazing because Spiritomb is actually actually has new weaknesses, if I'm not mistaken. So we are here in Lake Valor now. Okay, let's see what is going on. We do have some Team Galactic members. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Cajun up front, and we are okay. We're not gonna fight you. <laughs> Next stop, Lake Vernti. The closest civilization is this hick town called Twinleaf. We can roll in there completely unposed. Uh, <gasps> look at the magic carp! No! I want a magic carp. Gyarados is amazing. Um, is there any items over here? I guess not. That's fine. Okay. Um, do we battle you? We do. Okay. So, let's see what you got. I don't know if the levels have up since the gym leader, though. They have, just slightly. That's level 33 and you're a poison type. Oh no, not what I need. Um, I need a psychic type mod, and I don't have that. Um, see, I don't want to keep going out into Mama. Alright, I'm going to go out into Shenron, because I know Shenron can take care of you. And you have Gyro Ball. Wow. Okay, that's a steel type. I need to make sure I keep an eye on that. We have a Drift Bloom. Is a ghost. That means we need a dark type move. And Mama's got that. Who else has a dark type move? Someone. Is it Shenron? I think it's Shenron. No, it's not. I'm all over the place. We're gonna ancient power you because I know you're also flying too. Alright, Shenron is level 38 now. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, I'm gonna bring because the only people we haven't seen yet are Trippy and Danny. So I'm gonna bring Trippy out front. And we're gonna figure out what it, Oh my goodness, that's a lot of magic carp! Wow, that's a lot of magic carp. You are just killing Pokemon. You don't do that. That's not good. Oh my goodness, what are these what are these guys doing? A galactic bomb? Okay. We have a pip lap on our screen. I'm gonna use takedown, because takedown is actually really, really strong with Shell Bell. A mill tank! No! No, 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 I'm gonna bring in Danny, now that we have something for Miltank, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, Will-O-Wisp, burn you, and I can't hit you, I can't hit you, but I'm gonna try to, okay, you got rollout still, I'm gonna use curse, and we should be able to knock you down really quick like and I know this doesn't affect you but I do know that if I use this now you can't hit me so haha <laughs> and Miltank is down 
Now we have a way to counter Miltank. Oh, that feels amazing that we finally have something to deal with this guy now. Okay. Uh, do you battle me too? You do! Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we are going to battle you a Hitmontop. Cool. Alright. And I think we've basically seen everyone in everyone so far. And that is triple kick. That's not going to do anything to this big hefty Swampa. Alright, a Lucario. Uh, you are a fighting type, so I'm going to use Fly on you. And I'm sorry, Super Saiyan Lucario, but I gotta, I gotta get rid of you. I don't remember what's coming out. That's a Dusclops. Okay, Dragon Claw should take care. Oh man, why'd you have to live on one? And now I'm gonna hurt myself. Darn it, Dusclops. Okay. Uh, do we battle you as well? No, we don't battle you. Okay, you're just gonna do a whole bunch of dialogue that I'm not really gonna read. Okay, I'm gonna walk around just for a little bit, see what's going on, and there is nothing. Okay, so now we have to head on in here and see what is going on with Team Galactic. But we are gonna do that in the very next episode because we're gonna do a cliffhanger. <laughs> this is kind of like the first time I've ever done a cliffhanger, so we're gonna do it! Um, let me go ahead and give you the question of the day and get it out of the way real quick. So what is your favorite day of the week? I am curious because today is Monday. Breaking the fourth wall for you. Today is Monday and I'm, I, I hate Mondays. I hate them so much because it's the start. It's quote unquote the start of the week. And it also means that all the football games are done, besides for one. Which means I have to wait till the very end of the day to go watch my football games. Oh, but it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. But I want to know what your guys' favorite day of the week is. I'm probably going to say my favorite day of the week is probably Sunday. That is a football games! When I get to watch all my teams play and stuff like that. So... Let me go ahead and give you the spiel like I always do, like every YouTuber does. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. And if you didn't, make sure you hit the dislike button. Blah, 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 the dislike button for me because if you didn't like this video and you made it this way, uh, you made it all the way here. And it, I'm, I'm surprised you even made it this far. Hit that dislike button. You don't have to watch me anymore. You don't even have to subscribe to me. If you don't like the video, you don't have to like it. You really don't. But. If you're not a part of the Beakers family and you would like to be, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are on our way to 500 now. Just a little bit ago, we hit 400 and we're just going to keep climbing, guys. This is amazing and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I might have something going on for 500 subs. Uh, that is a little ways away, but it doesn't hurt to try to get started on it ahead of time and then I guess we will go from there but let me give you the spiel that I have come to absolutely love at this point in I'm gonna say my YouTube career but that I've I've, I've actually really come to enjoy so I will see you guys in the very next episode and I will see you guys very very soon <laughs>